Today's episode is brought to you by the letter M. The assembly instructions are pretty pathetic, but I guess they figure, I know they figure, if you're buying one of these, you're pretty handy around the shop. Your average homeowner's not going to go out and buy one of these. If you are, if he is, he's going to be lost trying to read this and actually making sense out of it. Uh, if he can't look at an exploded diagram, then he doesn't need to be buying one of these. That's just my opinion. Okay, that does that re reinforcement plate goes on this side. I gotta give him that. This is pretty well designed. I, I, I have a lot of grizzly tools. Um, those were made in Taiwan. But they're spec. You know, they're built in the other design in America. They're spec out of Taiwanese plants because they're cheaper labor, unfortunately. Kind of, it's hit or miss with Harbor Freight. And sometimes you get some stuff that's built as well as a Grizzly. Um, where am I at? I don't have you in the shot. Okay, there you go. I'm still right there. Anyway, so this actually looks more like it's engineered more like a Grizzly than, than a Harbor Freight. So it's hit and miss with Harbor Freight. Some of this has got a, I'd say that's an eighth inch plate. This is probably 16 inch square tubing. Then they reinforce it with a, you could just use a, a washer, but this is like twice the thickness of a washer. Um, it does a lot better job um, distributing the clamping force. What's going on here? at the bottom one first. Maybe. Now the top one won't line up. Now we'll be going back. Even these bolts look like they're pretty darn good. I don't, I'm not going to weld this, but um, I am going to go back and put Loctite on all these. They don't, they don't come with any kind of locking compound, they don't show any locking compound. But, you know, I'm going to get that tight anyway, but I don't want to set the son of a gun coming loose. There's any kind of looseness up here on this structure that holds the weight of the, uh, of the unit. Probably a long shot, but if it gets off any, it's going to mess up the cut, and I don't need that. I want a saw that has repeatable cuts. Um, and then I'm not actually, I don't know how much I want to go by that scale. And you know, once I calibrate it and if I get it and actually where I can trust it. If not, I mean, I'll, you know, three cranks is the half inch. You know, I'll, I'll calibrate that way. I'm, I'm only really getting to the, to the half inch mark. So I'm going to maybe quarter inch, but I typically cut everything at least a half inch oversized because I'm expecting to plane I want to plane at least three passes per side to clean it up uh, because it's impossible to make certainly with pine um, you do it like a professional sawmill and you actually steam killing it uh, you probably could but um, I don't have that I'm dry I'm, I'm basically air air drying it in the summer and uh, 13. Um, so <clears throat> it's gonna work some even if you cover it it's just gonna work some so I, in order to take some of the war condition all this fun parts about having doing your own song to get that out 
I'm gonna I'm run it through a planer to uh, pull it back in, into square, into, into square. Not sure how tight to get that. So now I'm just looking at this thing. I'm not real sure how that cable all that mess goes around here. Uh, Guess we have a cable that comes up from below, over here, around this pulley, and then goes through this pulley. And then probably one that goes straight from down there up. Yep, this pulley's a little higher. Go across the top pulley. And that all goes into this crank mechanism. That... It's got some lugs over here, so I'm not sure what the lugs are for. Maybe to hold that little dinky water bottle, but I ain't using that water bottle. Water is fine for, why in the why I can't keep myself in a shot here. Um, why, water is fine for, for a lubricant, but not that little dinky water bottle. To, I'd have to replenish it every, every. I'm sorry guys, I just cannot keep myself in a shot. You don't want to look at my other face anyway. Um, water, it's just uh, that little dinky thing. Not gonna What's it hold, a liter? I've been replacing it every stinking, I mean, it's nice, it's, it's okay, it's got a little nail that you hold it with, yeah, one liter. Or is that three liters? I don't know. It's cute. But I'm going to end up probably J.B. Well with a nipple on a, uh, a five-gallon bucket. And that'll be my, I'll, I'll hang it from whatever structure I've got to hold, that this is going to sit under, I'll, I'll hold it up and hang it up. Or I'll just run a, I'll probably just run a hose down there, and then I can fill it up pretty much at will. So that's that's my mechanism. Yeah, I was gonna quit there for the night, but I'm kind of wanting to go a little for Oh, okay, that's what the hooks for. I've got some hooks on the other side, and it's for these to lace over. You wouldn't have got that out of the uh, out of the manual, at least not from what I could find. Okay, so these are the same length. I'm surprised. I don't think I didn't get different so, so that's gonna go over that, around that, and the bottom plate. Okay, there's two different. Uh, let's see. So it's gonna go on the. I guess it's the far end. Oh, well. Round, down. Oh, that's not quite it. Probably not the far one. Try on there. Yeah, it's that one. It's not bad. All the welding on here, I'm, I'm noticing. Uh, stop talking. Film at the same time. Um, these welds aren't bad. I mean, it's it's a decent MIG weld, I'm guessing. Um, I mean, look, I mean, it's a good penetration. You can tell they've actually melted the uh, the little quick uh, quick link here, and they've melt also melted into the. I mean, it's got it's pretty good weld. I'm not going to break it because then I have to reweld it. But um, sorry. Anyway, see that's you can see right there. That's pretty good where it's actually. You can tell it's some of the uh, material. It's it's melted. Down. It had to have penetrated this ring because it's it's not almost the same height as that ring. And the same with the. Uh, I see they're just a really good stick job, or they actually melted that into the head, which I'm pretty sure they did because that's pretty pretty stout. Anyway, so now I'm gonna put this thing on. Uh, again, I'm putting all this together just finger tight loose. I mean, it's all. Especially this adjustable stuff, it's just loose because I know it's gonna, I might have to move it six different times to get it right, which is fine. Probably shouldn't do this right after that. Now that the engine block is warm, or the exhaust pipe that's right above my hand is hot. But such is life. I burn myself all the time. I need to quit my girls. 
bet they don't know their memory verse for the week. Let's see. Okay, there's so much stuff in there. Here and around that, and around this, and back here. Oh, yeah, it's gonna do all that honky mess. You suck. Sucker. Okay, so that's pretty much as low as it's gonna fall. I don't know if they'll ever get that low. So I probably need to run that. I know it's as low as it's gonna that all the way in and then set that yeah you saw that coming didn't you okay that's all the way down so okay we'll do this again for the third of seven or fifteen times out okay I'm assuming we're gonna reach this near boss and there we go, and there we go, and that's going to be a lot of material to take up. This thing is pretty. I mean, this is well, that's probably that's probably seven or eight gauge. Well, this material is between 10 and maybe up to six gauge metal. I mean, this is not not cheap as far as materials, and the wells look good. The wells look better than what I can do. Mine hold, but they're not very pretty. These actually are pretty. I hope they hold too. This, this saw has been out for a while and they've been making these for a while. I figure they've got the bug work on this and I'm sure it's as cheap as they can make it. But it's cheap to a point. Um, it has to still perform its job for some, you know, 90, it says 90 days or a year or whatever. It has to do it for some predetermined amount of time before anything breaks otherwise they lose money on it, on it. Um, and that's fine because when it breaks I'm going to put it back probably twice as good as it was before so that's just the way it is with discount tools or machinery it's, you just have to know going in that it's built to a price point and, um, it, and it, something will break on it and when it does break, as long as you know how to fix it, you're not going to be out of anything. But if you don't know what you're doing, like you're not really handy, then you end up losing your shirt on this these cheap to cheap tools. Uh, both of those are going to be right down to the you know, uh, take up for stretch. But I don't guess it really matters as long as there's enough crank in this or enough extension in this uh, piece here. Um, would be good. Otherwise, I'm like, I'm 